incorporate the sacrament of holy baptism and the rite of affirmation of baptism as we receive new members into the congregation. I would invite forward our candidates and our sponsors, if you'll come and join up here, surrounding on both sides. In baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father frees us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn children of God and made members of the church, the body of Christ. Living with Christ and in communion of saints, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Today we give thanks for Donna as she receives God's promise of grace in holy baptism and for these new members who are making public affirmation of their baptism. I present Donna Martin for holy baptism. And this morning we present John Belasher, Paul Martin, Tina Paraboom, James Pierce, Linda Pierce, Kelsey Sharman, Bobby Swanigan, who desire to affirm their baptism today. Donna, called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to be baptized into Christ? Dear friends, we give thanks for the gift of baptism as we come before God, making public affirmation of baptism into Christ. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you that you have made us your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called us to yourself, enlightened us with the gifts of your spirit, and nourished us in the community of faith. Uphold us and all your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism, and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. Sponsors, do you promise to nurture these persons in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and to help them live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? If so, answer, I do. People of God, do you promise to support these sisters and brothers and pray for them in their new life in Christ and as part of our parish? If so, answer, we do. I ask you now to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, holy God. You are the creator of the waters of the earth. You are the fire of rebirth. You poured out your spirit on your people Israel. You breathe life into our dry bones. Your Son, Jesus, promised to send the Spirit to us that the world may know your peace and truth. Pour out your Holy Spirit and breathe new life into those who are baptized. By your Spirit, adopt us all as your children through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit 
one God, now and forever. Amen. Donna, if you will come and lean over the font. Donna, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You belong to Christ in whom you have been baptized. Alleluia. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleansing them from sin and raising them to eternal life. Sustain Donna with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Donna, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and you are marked with the cross of Christ forever. Amen. Amen. As part of our tradition at baptisms, we light a baptismal candle from the Paschal candle, the Christ candle, the largest candle in our sanctuary, a reminder to us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. James, Linda, Tina, Kelsey, Paul, Bobby, and John, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth? If so, answer. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. Let us welcome our newly baptized sister and these new members of our faith community. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Welcome to FIRST. And you can blow out your candle. We have a few items for you. We have some name tags and also we have your offering envelopes. And Donna, we pre present to you at your baptism a Bible from the congregation. And here's the box. For this, I'm going to take this back for just a moment here. And if you will walk with me, I'm not going to carry you. <laughs> Y'all stay here for a moment. I want you to get to see your newest sister in Christ. If you've not gotten to meet her, I want you to take time and get to know her. She's counting on you and me to show her the love of God in Christ and for us to learn from her the nuances of grace that she's bringing to our community. So welcome, Donna. I am so excited that I got to be the one to baptize you, and we welcome you and each of our new members to the parish. So let us return to our seats now, and we'll continue with the prayers of the church. <laughs> 